Hey, hey, how's everybody doing? I wanted to talk about my divorce because I feel like a lot of people are stuck in this real life thing, right? I know I was. And I was talking to a professional boxer just last week. And he's professional and he's won Olympian, Olympic, he won, well, he won two awards, three. He won two gold medals and a silver medal. Anyway, we were talking and he was like, I've accomplished it all. Hey, Greg, I've accomplished it all. I've done everything I want to do. I can die now. I'm like, you're 36. <laughs> and I said, what if life is not about accomplishments? And he was like, what do you mean? <laughs> and I was like, what if life is about living? What if life is about experiencing being together and feeling and, and feeling alive and being with other people? And he was just like, <laughs> and I think we get stuck in these, in these ideas that real life has to be a certain way. And that real life has to be this way and everyone has to approve of us. And we have to, all these responsibilities, which is true, we have responsibilities. But hey, Ralph, it's just when I was in my 20s, I didn't know who I was and what I wanted. And there's so many people that I talk to today that are 36 <laughs> or 40 or 45 or 50 and they don't know who they are and what they want and it's so easy to get stuck it's so easy to get stuck in a rut and just be like this is all I know and this is my experience so far and after when I knew that I was going to leave my marriage when I this was I I, I quit I quit in 08 <laughs> I quit in 08, so that's 11 years. When I knew that I was going to leave my marriage, the only thing that I knew that I wanted to do was travel. Like, I know everyone picks that, but honestly, this is in my blood. I'm an army brat. That's how I grew up. You can't take that out of me. So I just knew I wanted to travel. So if you've heard my story, you know about the one-way ticket to Spain, <laughs> right? Um, but I, before I went to Spain, what happened was I researched travel and I researched like all these things about how to travel cheaply and how to just get around. Cause I was scared and I was like, well, this is the only thing that I know what, that I want. And I don't want a house or an apartment or any response. I want to go, I want to go. And so I moved out, got a an apartment. Oh, no, I shared a house with somebody. And um, I started doing this thing called couch surfing. And I had two guys come over and stay the night on my couch. It's totally, it's totally legit. Okay. Um, and one of them, his name was Brandon. And he had just come back from Africa. He had just spent two years traveling around Africa. And he's like, he was just so full of life. And he's like, Nicole, I have lived more in the last two years than most 80-year-old men have in their whole lives. And I was like, damn. And he's showing me all these pictures and all these things that he did. And it was just incredible just how much he had lived and how much he had experienced. Well, oh gosh, turn, I don't know how, like, after I came back from the trip from Spain, okay, the trip from Spain was actually Spain, Portugal, Italy, England, Holland, England, Ireland, okay? So that was my, it was eight months, and I was traveling around, backpacking, not knowing where I was going to sleep not knowing where I was going to stay, not knowing where I was going to be next, not knowing anything, just straight up legit traveling. And that's also where I was homeless in England. So 
I come back from that trip and come back to Austin and stay, stay the weekend with Brandon. And <laughs> I decide that I was going to live there. So I just made a copy of his key and started paying him rent <laughs> for real. And, uh, which was totally fine. He was good with it. And we just, he just showed me how to live, how to live life, how to, he had a scooter and we scooted around Austin. We did all the things we had fun. And it was just like, every day was exciting. Every day was an experience. And when he, he ended up leaving and then I was on, I had, a, I found another roommate and my friend was like, now your life is going to be boring because it's up to you to create what you want. And I was like, it's not going to be boring. I can do this. I can create what I want. And so I just basically took his mentality about life and living and I just started doing what I wanted to do. But it wasn't until I traveled on my own and broke out of reality, right? And broke out of the norm and what I wanted or what I was living to what I wanted, right? It wasn't until I had brand in there to show me it's safe to just fuck around and have a good time, right? It's safe to go scoot around Austin and do all the things and hang out and be with people and live life and, and travel. And, and, and it wasn't until I had someone else show me what life could be life like that I actually started living, right? Cause we just go through the checklist of, what do we need to do for ourselves? We need, you know, to pay rent. We need this. We need that. And we go down the checklist and we're so safe and secure that we're forgetting what we want personally and what's good for us and our soul. And we're saying no to what we want because we have to go out and make money. And I'm not saying don't go make money. But what I'm saying is I took... Brandon's philosophy, I took his way of life and I started creating, okay, he's a little bit, little bit more crazy than I am, but I started building what I wanted with that mentality of, hey, it's okay to fucking live your life. It's okay to have a good time. And so I started creating what I wanted instead of what I thought I should be living which is exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing now and coaching other people to create the life that they want and create businesses that they want and get re create the relationships that they want because we're just so stuck and we can't see anything else other than what we've been living and our pattern and the, the way that we've, yeah, we're just stuck in this whole thing. And when I was talking to that boxer, he was just like, yeah, I mean, he created his whole life. He created all these things that he, I mean, everywhere he wanted to box, he went and boxed. He was in New York and, and Vegas and California. And, and he created this dream life. And then he says he has to come back to reality where he's living this normal life that he isn't really excited about. And I think that it's our mindset that needs to shift that we, we can create whatever we want. Reality is just what we make it. If you want your reality to change, then you have to change that mindset of what it can be. And that's why what I do is I get around people who are living the kind of life that I want to live and doing the kind of thing that I want to do. It's really about the people I surround myself with, the people that I'm around and, and the people that influence me. And if I can't be physically around them, I just, you know, go, like follow them on social media and 
and just take in their insights, the, the way of life that I want to live, right? And um, so the same thing is up to you. It's, people use the word reality, but really mean the norm or the socially acceptable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like they it's like you you get stuck in what everyone else expects and I don't think anyone expects anything of me. Uh, I think they everyone's like, "Oh, you're going to Puerto Rico." Like I went to Puerto Rico. They're like, "Do you have a one-way ticket or are you go are you coming back?" And I was like, "No, I'm coming back." Um <laughs> because that's just the way I live my life now. I'm like, if I want to do something, I fucking create it. And there's, here's the thing. When I'm living here in Austin in this apartment in reality, it is still hard for me to realize that I can create my reality. That's why I went to Puerto Rico because I'm like, I'm stuck. I'm stuck because when I travel, I don't book a hotel. I don't, travel like that. I travel backpack. I don't know where I'm sleeping. Maybe the first night. Yeah. I'll know where I'm sleeping the first night, but I couch surf. I stay in hostels. I meet people. I stay on their couch. I'm just pretty like, let's make it up as I go. And so for me to get out of Austin and to go to Puerto Rico, it's, it was more of, I need to, Hey, Hey, Elaine. Um, I need to free my mind. I need to free my mind of this, like, this is how life is. And you can create, you can't create anything else, right? So I had to break out of that and get into this, this mentality, hey, whatever you want, you have to create it today, right? You want to sleep somewhere tonight? You have to figure that shit out now. And that's, that's, that's exciting, right? And I think we are so bored in our lives because we live this predetermined life of what everyone else expects. I'll be in Texas this summer if you're around in July. Yeah, message me. Um, I should be around. <laughs> Wait. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> a little announcement. Okay. So I don't know how long you guys have been following me, but last year I did a competition, bodybuilding competition. Wait, where is that? I won first, first, and third. First, first, and third, something like that. And after that, I went through a bunch of physical therapy for my legs, and I'm getting out of that. I'm out of that, really. Hey, Tracy. And in 10 weeks... I'm going to be on stage again. <laughs> like this is the official announcement. I have secretly been training. <laughs> I don't know if anyone can tell, but I've been secretly training um, because I was really afraid of not being able to do it with my legs and I don't want the pain to come back. So I was just like, I'm just going to see what I'm, what's possible, what I can do. Thank you. I'm just going to see what I can do. And then, like, even though my biz sisters don't know, like, they don't know. I haven't told, like, the closest people to me. So you guys are the first to know. But this is um, about me creating what I want. And I know that even if the pain comes back and I have to change the date or whatever. Okay, cool. Okay, bye, Greg. Um, even if I have to change the date, it doesn't matter because this is my vision of what I want and I'm going to get it because I always get what I want because you can create whatever you want, right? It's only your mindset and your fear that really holds you back and we just allow ourselves to sit in this stuckness, right? Stuckedness. I think I did a video on that, stuckedness. We just allow ourselves to be stuck and we know it. And instead of getting around people who have expanded mindsets or people who just think differently, then we just stay where we are 
And it doesn't allow us to move out of that, right? So if we want to create what we want to create, if we want to create something in our lives, we have to get around people that will help us, that have the, the mentality that we want. We have to get around those people. And, you know, if you can't, there's the internet, there's social media. There's no excuse for us to stay stuck where we are. So whatever you're going through, whether it's emotional um, money, relationships, business, all these things I coach on, by the way, whatever you're going through, there's no reason for you to stay stuck except that you want to stay stuck. So if you're stuck in anxiety, you're there because you want to be stuck on some level, right? It's serving you. If you're stuck with money on some level, it's serving you. If you're stuck with your business on some level, it's serving you. If you're stuck in your relationship on some level, it's serving you. So if we want to change, we have to get mentors, coaches, people around us that have a different mindset. We have to read the books. We have to constantly set our mind to what we want. And honestly, this is a big thing for me. When I go to the gym every single day, it's not always, it's not, it's not easy. I literally have to set my mind to do it. It's it, like, sometimes it's easy, but most of the time it's not. Hey, Tracy, did I say hi to you? So it's really about taking care of what's here, taking care of your mindset, making sure that this matches up with what you want, with what you want to create. And if you're not happy and you don't know what you want, you get around people that can feed you. Like, I didn't know what I wanted when I left my marriage, right, 11 years ago. I had no idea. I knew I wanted to travel. But what I did was I, I read Tim Ferriss. Tim Ferriss had just come out with a four-hour work week, and I was like, that's so what I want. Read his book. Totally changed my life, obviously. I think that's obvious. Um, read his book, and then I met Brandon. And if you miss that part, you're going to have to go watch the replay from the, the beginning. Met Brandon and just got around people that had a different mindset. So if you're on here and you are stuck in some area of your life, comment. I'm, I'm curious what area that you are stuck in because – you're not the only one. You're not the only one. And I think it would be helpful for other people to see that, you know, other people are stuck too. Um, and then if you want to create something different, know that you have to get around people that are doing what you want to do. I have a lot of people that, all, like, I think all my friends go hang out in the gym, hang out, work out. <laughs> Right. Um, you have to get around people that do the thing that you want to do. You have to hire a coach that lives the kind of life that you want to live, that teaches the philosophies that you want to have. Right. You have to back yourself and saying yes to yourself and all these things that you want. That's how you create the life. You set, You just don't accept that this is reality, right? You change it to say, okay, what do I want? And start moving in that direction. So if you're on here, say hi. If you're on the replay, say replay. If this has been helpful for you, please share this video. Because I know there's other people out here who need to hear this message. And if you have not checked out my free training, it is on the page somewhere. <laughs> um, on the cover photo, just click on the link. And I'll also put the link down below. But um, say hi, and I will see you guys on the next, oh, the free training. How to 10x your life and get the passion you crave. <laughs> Cut myself off. Okay. I'll see you guys on the next Facebook Live.